Stop. Ah, what's going on, y'all? What's happening? I think we're in the house. We in the house? Yeah, we in the house. Video number two. What's going on, y'all? It is Joseph Morrison, AKA Stop Slapping Your Hands. Are we focused here? Right. Oh, my hand's in the way, okay. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go now. What's going on, y'all? It is Joseph Morrison here, AKA Kojo Locks, coming to you with a second video. Today, we're gonna be talking about a few things, five to be exact, that are all gonna be wrapped around the realm of daytime routines for your starter locks. So if you watched my last video, you'll know that I have started the lock journey. As you can see, we've got some starter locks going on here, inner locks to be exact, but I have tried the cone coil method to start, which didn't work for me. If you wanna kinda of hear the whole story about that, check out the last video. What we're gonna talk about today are five things. Number one, we're gonna talk about your wake up. So literally just, you just got out of bed, you're starting your day with your new starter lock. Second thing we're gonna to touch on is how to protect your hair from weather conditions. So just certain things you can kind of be mindful of when you are going out uh, in the world and depending on what world you are in, there's things you wanna kind of factor into that. So in my case, I am in Toronto, Canada. It is December, so we cold. It's cold up here right now. So there's certain things that you wanna think about when you're going out into the world, considering that with the cold air, it's gonna make your hair a little drier, your scalp a little drier. We are also going to discuss just some workout ideas, right? So obviously, for a lot of us out here, we are working out, we are staying healthy. Uh, for myself, that's something that's a big part of my daily routine. I like to practice active movement, sweating, and just daily activity. I think it's really important. It's important to sweat move and stay healthy. Uh, next, we're gonna talk about just lounging around the house, things that you're gonna do when you're lounging around the house, hanging out, you're at home, maybe you're done work for the day or maybe you're just hanging out from home like a lot of us are, especially lately. Um, just things that you wanna keep in mind when you are just chilling around the house with the kids and or just laying down watching TV, right? Just certain things you might wanna consider. And lastly, we're gonna talk about the shower, something that we do hopefully daily and just things you wanna kinda of consider when you are in the shower and what things you want to stay away from in the shower because obviously you have starter locks, so you don't wanna get your hair soaking wet. So, if you're interested in that, stay tuned for this video. All right, so, number one, you just woke up, right? Just got out of bed, you probably walk to the washroom, you're gonna brush your teeth or whatever, you take off your do-rag and your hair is stuck to the head, pretty matted, uh, which is, Normal, right? That's, that's kind of what you see every morning. So some things I like to do every morning are, you know, I first kind of wake the hair up, so I'll just kind of pop the locks a little bit, kind of get them off the head. Then I will grab my rose water and I will just spritz my hair. So I don't go crazy, like not like right? You see a lot of people kind of doing that stuff. I don't want to do that too much because you don't, again, you don't want to get your hair like soaking, super soaking wet. You just want to bring a little bit of moisture to the hair to kind of help to keep the hair moist. I mean, as we sleep, we lose a lot of water, right? So hence why in the morning, it's good to kind of have a glass of water in the morning to kind of help rehydrate the body, kind of get the uh, metabolic system going. But on top of that, you want to bring some moisture as well to your hair. So just literally, I put my head down, I go, I do a couple sprays, I do that. I just do gentle, gentle rubbing through the scalp. So I'm not trying to like go through the hair completely like crazy. I'm just trying to make sure that the moisture is getting into the scalp and then I'll just kind of do some gentle rubbing of the head as well just to make sure that the, the hair is a little bit moist as well because as we know, or if you didn't know, when your hair is dry, you can get a lot of breakage, right? Which is, especially in colder conditions, that breakage is gonna really start to, well, break your hair apart and that's not something that you want and it's just going to be detrimental to your locking process. So that's just something I do every morning to kind of get the ball rolling. What you can do as well if you feel like your hair is really, or if you're going to be outside all day let's say, uh, in colder conditions, you can also put a little bit of oil in the scalp. So focusing on the scalp. 
So after you put your rose water in your hair, you spritzed your hair, even just with water to get moisture in it, you know, just kind of go through the scalp or through those parted sections with a little bit of oil, a very light amount, just to make sure now that oil is gonna help to seal in the moisture uh, in the scalp so that if you are outside doing your thing, you're good, you're protected, and your hair is taken care of, right? So that's pretty much what I think about or what I do primarily for my morning routine. Not much, simple stuff, but keeps your hair moist and kind of gives your hair a good start for your day. Kind of touched on it in the last point, but we're gonna get a little bit more into it. Uh, weather conditions can get real out there. So that being said, for colder climates, especially us here in Canada, it's winter, it's cold. One thing you wanna do is obviously protect your hair from the cold, but there's kind of do's and don'ts with this one. As I mentioned in the first part, you wanna definitely make sure there's moisture in your hair. So if you are gonna be outside, let's say you're someone who works outside or you're just spending a lot of time outside in the cold, you're definitely gonna to wanna to probably put rose water or moisture water in your hair. Um, before you go out or just in the morning every morning and putting a little bit of oil to help to seal in that moisture to make sure that that moisture stays in your hair is going to be very very key and vital for you but another thing you want to consider as well is some kind of protective wrap uh, for your hair or for your head to kind of help keep the moisture in I know it's toque season, I know you kind of want to wear that fresh toque, you know what I mean, put it on the head, you feel like you look good it helps to protect the hair you think but one thing you want to consider is a lot of those toques are made out of wool or are made out of fabrics that are going to kind of pull on your hair or when you, you know, you're taking your hair on and off, there's a lot of friction going into that uh, and that can also damage your locks. So one thing that I like to do is I'll just put a hood on. Usually a hood isn't as coarse. It's not going to really pull on your locks as much and you're, you know, you're keeping the locks protected. You're keeping them down and close to the head and for the most part, it's keeping your hair a little bit warmer. If you wanna go a step further, what you can do is get a wrap. Like get some kind of silk wrap or satin wrap to help to just wrap up the hair. Helps to keep the hair protected and keeps it a little bit warm, right? Not maybe the warmest thing, but just it's better than nothing, right? It's better than having it out and kind of just having the elements get the best of your head, right? So kind of having something on your head is helpful, but if you can't, then definitely make sure you get your moisture and get your uh, oil. Pretty much just to make sure your hair is moisturized and make sure that we're sealing in that moisture with the oil. Next thing we wanna talk about is lounging around the house. You know, so the work day is done, you come home, or for most of us, we're working from home now. Uh, that's the new normal, I guess. So you are home a lot and you're chilling in the house, you're laying on the couch, you're watching Netflix or you're just not going anywhere for the rest of the day. So you don't really need to think about being presentable or anything like that. Uh, so things that I like to do is I'll throw a do-rag on. And what that does for me is it lets me know that I'm protecting my head. I don't have to worry about anything. So if I lay back on the couch and I'm just laying on the couch, I don't have to think about like, uh, can I put my head on this cushion right now? Because these cushions are, as you can see, it's a little bit, you got a little bit of, uh, kind of got that suede going on, you know what I mean? So something like suede, yeah, it's not the best for your locks. It's gonna kind of pull on locks, add a little bit of friction that you're not gonna want. So for me, if I have my silk do-rag on or my satin do-rag and I'm laying back, I have no problem putting my head on that comfy, comfy. They're actually really comfy, uh, to be honest. I didn't like them at first, but they're kind of growing on me. My wife picked them out, she loves them, and they're growing on me, so good for her. Anyway, put that do-rag on, make sure your hair's protected, or your wrap, if you want to do that as well, there's a lot of silk and satin wraps that you can wear as well. I personally just go with the do-rag because it's quick, it's easy. Or if you want, you can also throw on a bonnet. So a bonnet's something that I haven't talked too much about. But again, we'll talk more about that stuff in other videos. But throwing on a nice silk or satin bonnet will also help to keep in the moisture, keep the head protected, so that when you are resting your head on something, it's not you know, getting all over the place and friction is not getting at your head. Especially if you have kids, like you know, sometimes you're playing with your daughter or your son or just your children and you know, you're on the floor, you're rolling around, so you just don't want to be in a position where you're like being so leery of your head and you know, oh, don't touch my head kids and stuff like that. You can kind of just do your thing, live your life while you're lounging around your house. Point number three, we're hitting the gym, y'all. We're getting that workout on, time to sweat. Um, very important, make sure you do it. 30 minutes a day, if you can, make it happen. 10 minutes even if you got it, do something. Get active, please. 
But we're talking about working out. And now you got starter locks. What do you do? You do a lot of cardio, you sweat a lot, or you do a lot of strength training. So your head is on a bench or you know what I mean? Like you're kind of putting yourself in sometimes compromising positions when it comes to your starter locks. Um, that was something that was kind of interesting for me where I, I didn't think about it until I got to the gym. And I'm like, oh yeah, I don't really want to put my head on this bench because I'm kind of crushing the back of my locks or I'm sweating a lot. Like I shouldn't be getting my hair wet. Like what do I do? So some things that I do is I will wear like a headband. Now this headband, it's kind of moisture wicking. You want to wear a headband that is moisture wicking, but nothing that's going to be too or have too much friction. So something that's kind of a light cotton I found works for me. Because I mean, when you put it over your hair line, so I just put it right in the front and just goes around the side, so right under my uh, high top locks. So it's all just lining that part right there. And what that does is it just helps to suck out all the moisture and all the sweat that obviously I am creating as I'm doing this hard workout, because I go hard, y'all. And not only is, you're getting, is it getting your starter locks wet, but it can start to cause buildup, right? Because once that sweat dries, it causes buildup and we can't just be washing our hair every day so we don't get to really get rid of that buildup as often as we want so simply by having that head wrap or even just wearing like something over your head like a stocking cap something that can kind of suck out that moisture out of the hair is really really helpful and if you're doing something like a bench press where you are putting your head back on the bench honestly it kind of is what it is you just kind of have to make the best of it try not to do too i mean when you're doing a bench press you, you shouldn't be doing too much movement anyway once you're in position so those are things that you kind of have to try to work around. I'm not going to say don't do those exercises anymore, but just be careful, really. Um, moisture is going to be the big thing that you can really help to prevent, though, by wearing that head wrap. So, yeah, super important uh, when you're at the gym or doing activity outside and things like that. And now we're getting on to the fifth thing, which is simply just in the shower, right? That's something that obviously we do very often. So, you know, when you're in the shower, you obviously don't want to get your hair super soaking wet. We know this already. You're probably not washing your hair if you just have fresh, fresh starter locks. A lot of people kind of have, there's kind of different rules of thought with this one. And, and there's validity to both. A lot of people think wash your hair when you need to wash your hair. Uh, and some people think they want to try to not wash their hair as long as they can. Um, I guess my response to that is pretty much it just depends on you. If you're somebody who is experiencing tons and tons of itching in your head and it's just beyond where you're getting a lot, a lot of buildup, you, you probably need to wash your hair. And I know you're probably thinking, but yo, I'm going to ruin my starter locks like you ruined your starter locks. And there's many reasons for me for why my starter locks didn't really do too well with washing it and why I had to go to interlocks from the comb coil method. But um, you know, you got to wash your hair because if you're not washing your hair and it's getting super, super dirty and there's a lot of buildup, now you're kind of starting your lock journey on a dirty foundation, which is just going to lead to a lot of other issues down the road where you're not going to like your locks. They're going to be falling out and thinning. So talk to your loctician, which is what I did. She was really helpful to let me know what was best for me. And now I definitely have a routine that works and I'm kind of going off track here. So let's get back on track. We're talking about shower and protecting your hair in the shower. So one thing that I like to do is number one, which you're probably thinking already, just don't get your hair wet, right? Shower the rest of your body, wash your face, try and stay away from getting uh, water directly on your hair. Uh, one thing my loctician told me uh, is the mist from the shower is actually good because it helps to kind of put moisture in your hair without directly wetting up the hair, which can be detrimental to the hair, right? So there are benefits to the mist of your shower, but you just don't want to be, again, getting direct water in your hair unless you have interlocks and you can kind of do that a little bit easier. Another thing that I like to do uh, and that I recently started doing, well, it was primarily my old, when I had my comb coils, I tried doing this where I had a shower cap and I put the shower cap on just to make sure I wasn't getting my hair wet. And for a lot of people that works, just so you don't have to think about taking a shower and like dodging the water, you know, that can be a little bit annoying. So throw on your shower cap, especially if you have a high top set like I do, where you just have locks on the top of your head, you can kind of throw on the shower cap just around the head like that. And it's a little bit easier. If you have a full set, it's a little bit harder. You gotta kind of pull that shower cap down a little bit lower, but it works and it can be a lifesaver, right? Just so you don't have to worry so much about getting your hair wet. But again, there are benefits to 
having your hair out in the shower because that mist will help to moisturize, which can be beneficial too. So those are really the main things that I focus on in the shower when I am showering. And also when you get out of the shower, one more thing is if you're drying your hair, drying your, or sorry, if you're drying your face, drying your body off or whatnot, uh, you know, try not to get your towel in your hair. That's kind of an obvious one, but it can be easy, especially when you're drying your face or drying for me, the sides of my head, I like to just kind of hold my locks up a little bit and then just dry the sides and then same thing on both sides just to make sure that I'm not adding any towel friction to my hair. So yeah, just a couple things I want you guys to consider. So going down the rundown of what we talked about today, the five things we want to think about for our daytime routine. Number one, we just woke up, want to make sure that we pop those locks, get some moisture in the hair because all that dehydration we just went through from sleeping. So putting some rose water in your hair or lightly spritzing some water in your hair. And then if need be, putting some light oils in the parts of the hair just to kind of help to seal in that moisture um, are gonna be very key for you. And point number two kind of goes with point number one. So after we've done all that, now we're going out into the world. For us here in Canada, it's pretty cold. So if you are going out into colder climates, you wanna make sure that you have some kind of protection for your hair, but nothing that's too that, that has too much friction or has too much compression. So things like wool, toques, or um, really cottony, dense cottony toques that are gonna kind of, you know, really pull on the hair as it goes over and as it comes off the head are gonna be things you wanna stay away from. Uh, as I mentioned, I like to use hoods because you can kind of gently put them on top of the hair. It's gonna help to keep your hair compressed and keep your head warm and help to seal in and keep that moisture in your hair. So those are things that I like to do. Or if you want, you can wear like a silk or satin wrap to wrap the head up just to kind of help seal in the moisture that you've put in your hair in the morning with your rose water, your water, and your oil. Number three, hitting the gym. Make sure that you have your headband just to kind of line the hair, right? Or if you can wear some kind of a stocking cap to help to wick the moisture out of your hair as you sweat, is gonna be really, really helpful for you. And it just helps to kind of keep your locks in position and in place, because depending on how vigorous you work out, you know, you can really be moving your head around a lot or doing a lot of movements that just can put your locks out of place. Um, so you just to kind of keep everything protected, keep it sealed in, uh, but primarily to wick out that moisture that you're kind of building up and to help prevent buildup since most of us starter lock people aren't washing our hair as frequently as we would be prior to our lock journey, right? So just some things you want to consider. Number four, we're lounging around the house, we're hanging out. You know, we've probably already taken our shower, we're just relaxing at home, the day's done. You know, get your do-rag, get your bonnet, your silk, satin, do-rag or bonnet, wrap the hair up, just so you don't have to think about it. You don't have to worry about laying on your couch or playing with your kids um, or laying in the bed doing some work or anything like that. You don't have to worry too much about those things. You can just kind of put the hair up. It's gonna to help to keep your hair moist and you can just kind of go about your day, right? Do your thing in peace. And numero five, when we are taking our shower, we wanna make sure that we're kind of keeping that water out of the hair. So no direct water in the hair, unless you're washing your hair, right? And one tip that I give as well, as I mentioned, is throwing on that shower cap and just making sure that the shower cap liner isn't like pressing into your locks. Make sure it's like right, even bring it low, bring it low on, over the forehead, over the ears even, just so that you can shower in peace, not have to worry about getting your hair wet. However, if you are not gonna wear a shower cap, that mist that you're getting from the shower can actually help to keep moisture in the hair and just kind of keep your hair moist as well. So yeah, just five things I want you guys to consider for your daytime routine. If you have any questions or comments, please leave your comments down below. And again, as always, if you have tips for me, please let me know, it's really helpful for me as well. And for everyone else who will be commenting. Again, I want this channel to be for us, right? So it's a for us, by us kind of vibe, right? I want us to kind of help each other and, and yeah, I'm not a know-it-all by any means. I'm talking about what works for me and what my experiences are, and I'm just sharing that with y'all. So please share yours with me as well. Uh, and also subscribe and like this video if you are enjoying what you are hearing. And uh, yeah, join me on my lock journey as I will join you on yours, all right? So, I'm signing out. I don't really know how to sign out yet. I'm working on it. Again, I'm new to YouTube. This is new for me. So ha uh, have a have a great have a great day, and I'll see you again. Do I just walk away now, or I'm just gonna leave?
Ta.